Hey, how's it going? Hey, today's project I'm going to show you how to fabricate a quartz uh, torch head, which is this one here. You can see it up close. It's a very simple one to make. I can usually work up to about three and a half, four inch burl silicate with this head by itself. Uh, maybe with a little bit of assistance. So here's the torch setup for this uh, quartz head. It's a 3 8 Cajon fitting that is silver soldered to the uh, portion of an old neck and this is just a regular national torch so it's silver started right there I'll get the uh, neck to show you here so I just took a uh, one of my old necks and cut off right about there and silver soldered the two together you can drill the Cajon fitting out and press this into it and then silver solder it. It's uh, whatever way you want to do it. It's 9.5 by 7 quarts, and that's a 3 8 opening on the end there. Um, that's 5 by 7, excuse me, 9 by 7. Um, 9.5 by 7 on the outside jacket, and the inside is 2 by 6 quarts. Um, one thing I have to do say about this piece, it is uh, very nice to work with, very clean. Um, there is one drawback, it is very fragile, and it can occasionally blow up if you don't use it properly. I have done it in the past, but what I have done, or I've noticed, is there's a lot of premixed gases down this whole tube when you're using it. If you let your flame get too small, it'll suck back in the tip and can explode the inside piece or blow it apart. So that is just one thing that I want you to be aware of before you use this. How you use this, simple. You have to have more gas than that coming out of it. When you, tight, when you give it more oxygen, it, here, click. It's going from the center sleeve to the outer jacket of the upper tube. Um, sometimes I'll use a big flame like this, a big bushy flame, or I'll turn the oxygen up and you'll hear it pop. Great torch, love it. Like I said, there are some safety issues with it, being breakable. Um, when you turn it off, I pretty much turn the oxygen all the way off and then back off my, uh, my um, natural gas. Uh, you never, never want to have this much gas while it's going to turn on the oxygen. You've got to have significant gas coming to it. And then here, turn up the gas again. Um, pretty big for my left hand now. My right hand. So if you want to kneel thumb. gas and it starts pulling away, like pulling away from your torch. But it's got a nice bushy flame for doing different types of annealing. Um, I just love this torch. It's the main one I use all the time. This is the quartz that we start off with to build the torch. It's uh, I've got about five to six inches, two pieces of seven by nine point five. And this piece right here is five by seven, which is about six and a half to seven inches long and the main jet going down the center of the torch is two by six and they will be installed in this order so this piece right here was going to be inside here like so and you're going to have the neck and then the body so you got the, this is the order it's going to go so we got five by excuse me, 7 by 9.5, 5 by 9, 2 by 6 in the center, and 9.5 by 7 quartz on the outside. The step is to attach the uh, 7 by 9.5, which is on this side, to the 5 by 7 on this side. See how it's out of uh, center here? I will go and straighten this and come back. So, I've attached the two pieces together. Everything's running true. Um, So what I did next was, it's hard to see this, but right there, I just blew a small two millimeter, three millimeter hole, turned the lathe over the other side, and blew another one right here on this other side. What I did is I snapped one hole on one side, melted it back, and I stuck my reamer in it and blew from the other side, turned it around and plugged this hole, like so, and then blew from the bottom, snapped another hole. When I got done, they look like this. There we go. See, there's two holes in there. They're just in the shoulder. So now, I have flared the outside piece. 
so it lays down on that Maria, like so. So what I'll do now is I will cold stick that to there. Then I'll come over here and I will heat the glass up right there so it comes down and just touches the edge of the centerpiece only but fuses to it but doesn't close it off because I need blow to both sections. Okay, you look at this? I have cold sealed that now. Okay, now, if you notice here, I fused the 7x9.5 to the center tube just on the edge only, but I left it open. So there's blow going to uh, both inner and outer tube. So that, that, that holds it in place. And I come over here, and I do this seal now. Alrighty, here's the seal done. You want to try to minimize the amount of gap between the inner tube and the outer tube. Um, right right there okay now I go and fire polish everything out so here's the finished product there's the seal so what I'll do is I'll mark this thing off this thing's about two and a half inches long and I make this thing on the other end about, uh, about where my fingers are at then uh, I'll stick it back in lathe and fine tune it for uh, uh, using Alrighty. it. So I've got the torch in my uh, um, body here, and I was going to show you what you look for once you get it set up. You still have to do some adjustment on it, so it's kind of hard to do this one. here, straightened it all the way out to here, and I put the torch here, and I took a, my piece of tungsten and rode on the on the inside, right right there, got everything straight. Now see how it's got a little bit of a wobble still? So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the torch right here, just get it soft enough to move. And while this thing's the lathe is turning, I'm going to drag this. Just ever so, see how it's grabbing every time it goes around? I'm just going to drag this in here while I'm heating the torch up, and it, it will self center that the angular space will come even all the way around. So, this is what it looks like before. And I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. So, See how the angular spacing is on now? Um, the, the best way to to, uh, to test this is to plug it, put in your torch and fire it up. And I'll go and check that right now. So I tried to show you while the torch is running. Uh, once you finish cutting everything, you got you got to line the center tip. So when I plug this torch in and turn it on, the cone on the inside on the the, the outer sleeve was coming out and had an angle on it. You don't want it that way. You want it to be like this. You want it to come out like so. And then it's obviously attached out there. And this is the center cone. And this is the uh, this is the outer cone. It's, it's actually, it's circular. Um, when you look at it from this way. So here's the center cone. And then uh, this, little, this little outer jacket where the gas goes down here out and makes another cone out here that's all the way around the, or all the, way around the, uh, the center cone. Uh, this is actually probably back just a little bit to be correct. Like more along lines are right there. Right there so. And when you're done, you want this to be flat across this way. And I'll show you the technique for doing that now on the end of the torch. Since I couldn't fire it up for you and you couldn't see it, I'll go ahead and show it to you. So here's the finished product. I make this the head here about two and a quarter inches long. Um, you can see the end there. Uh, it's, uh, the angular spacing is on. Um, it did take me four tries to get that right, get the cone so it was symmetrical when the, when the fire was going. 
So just gotta be patient. Um, there's my bend. You can kind of pretty much pick any angle you want. This is the kind of angle I like. Uh, there's my 9.5 going to my um, ultra torque fitting. Um, just remember, so, more gas, more natural gas when you're firing it up. You want to have, uh, never want to fire it up with that much gas. You want to have at least the point where the, the glass, the, back, the gas, excuse me, the flame is starting to leave the tip, which is right about there. Maybe a little bit back, and then turn on. You get really good at it turning on and off. I mean. to it, but hope you enjoy and be safe. Thanks.